Hi and welcome to Design School by WP Algorithm dot com. Elementary AI is out with Elementor version three dot one three, and it can write CSS code. It can assist you in generating text and a lot more. The question is: Is Elementor AI really worth the hype? Let's find out in this tutorial. Let's start with the text-based capabilities. I'll just drag in text editor widget. The first time you need to enable enable Elementor AI. And once you do, you'll see this button called Write with AI or Code with AI wherever it's available. So just click on that, and I'll simply say, write SEO copy or SEO optimized copy on global warming with relevant subheadings. And I'll just click on Generate Text. Now this is a good starting point. Don't just use it as is because it is basically the same for everyone so it has given us a rough copy now what you can do is you can simply just go ahead and use it you can click on use text and that will paste the text into the text editor you can simplify language and that will make it more user friendly or beginner friendly you can also change the tone of the text now it has obviously simplified you can simply click on make it longer because we want a proper SEO optimized detailed article on this. You can also fix spelling and grammar. You can also change the tone. You can say casual or formal or whatever the tone you want for your text copy. You can just pick that from here. And finally, when you're ready to use the text, you can click on use text. It's as simple as that. I've said generate SEO optimized copy on global warming with relevant subheadings. Now, obviously it doesn't format the subheadings, but it gives us a rough format. I'll scroll all the way down and click on use text. Now you can simply go ahead and format the copy yourself. So I can simply pick H3 from here, something like that. And that's a good starting point to your SEO optimized copy when you're writing a post on something or maybe a description of a product you can simply use this as a good starting point so that's one way and you can use it wherever there's text so you can all obviously use it with heading widget as well the same thing goes maybe you can say something like and click on generate text you can simply click on use text and that should do right so that is how you use the text based capabilities and what about the code based capabilities i'll just click on the plus button I'll drag in a button widget in here. Now click on advanced and go to custom CSS. And again, you find something called code with AI. Just click on that. I'll say add wobbler on animation on hover. Click on generate code and it'll understand that code and it gives you the necessary code. You can simply click on insert code. And just like that, it has added the wobble animation. So that's kind of neat. Now let's try something different. I'll just click on code with AI. And I'll say change the color to aqua. So this is what I typed into this. Click on generate code. I've removed the previous code just to make it clean and easy. But you can use both the codes. I'll click on insert. And yeah. It is actually changing the text color so you can be more specific and say change the button's background color to aqua but you get the gist right so it is kind of working let's actually drag in an image widget and by the way image generation is also coming with elementor ai so that's a cool thing i'll click on choose image let's see what we can do with an image i'll pick this image and again let's go to advanced you can click on code with ai I'll say on hover. This is already included in Elementor, but I'm just testing it out. If it can actually generate proper code that can change these properties. And yes, of course, you can see that the actual image is changed to grayscale here, but on hover, it's getting the color. So yeah, you can definitely try it out. Let's try something advanced. Maybe I'll say change the image cutout or mask add a blob mask to the image let's see if we can do it 
click on generate code and it didn't sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so yeah it's not perfect but you can give it a shot it's still in its early stages and one last ability i want to show you is that with ai you can not only generate text but you can also translate so you can click on the write with ai button with the text selected you can click on translate to and you can pick anything you want right all the available languages click on that and click on use text and just like that you can translate it it would have been more useful if this was available for the users on the front end but anyway they may still bring it and that will eliminate the need for a translation plugin such as WPML but it's a good start you can see it's translating sometimes it gives you this error sometimes it works properly but just give it a shot so that is Elementor AI in a nutshell. You can just simply type what you want for that element. Maybe you can add little animations, maybe tweak some things. It's not perfect, but sometimes it gets it. And the next feature I want to show you is with Elementor 3.13, you can add icons without even adding the HTML code that I earlier showed you on this channel. So the font awesome icons are already built into the elements. So again, you need to use the menu widget and the normal menu widget is renamed as WordPress menu. So you need to be using the menu widget. And when you click on it and click on a menu element, you can scroll down and now there is an option to pick an icon from the library or you can upload your own icon. So you can simply pick that and click on insert. And that particular top level element gets an icon. Now, other than that, Elementor 3.13 lets you create these grids and with just click of a button you can simply change the number of columns and rows so something like that we've already discussed about elementary css grid container in couple of other videos on the channel you can check it out in elementary basics playlist or simply head over to the channel and you can find more info on that and that's elementary 3.13 in a nutshell and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below see ya